Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for gathering us this Sunday morning to celebrate this Eucharist. And as we partake of the mysteries of God's love, let us receive the strength and the grace that we need as we faithfully do our mission and as we courageously journey through life, so that we may become less unworthy to celebrate this Mass, let us now humbly acknowledge our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, 
We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject what is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary! Flee to the land of Judah. There, earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people, Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessings in the heavens, as he shows us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of God's grace that He granted us in the Beloved. 
In Him, we have redemption by His blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of His grace that He lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, He has made known to us the mystery of His will in accord with His favor that He set forth in Him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ in heaven and on earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as Jesus sends his apostles to mission, Jesus gives them some instructions about their journey. At karaniwan lang naman yata iyon kapag may aalis, kapag meron tayong isinusugo, kapag meron tayong inuutusan, nagbibigay tayo ng mga habilin. And in our gospel this Sunday, we heard the instructions of Jesus. Jesus tells them what the twelve should bring and what they should not bring as they go on mission. They should have a walking stick, but they should not have they should not bring any food, no sack, no money, no travel accessories, no extra supply. 
And we know the reason why Jesus tells this to them. Jesus wants them to focus on the mission and to rely on God's providence. Ang isang nagmimisyon at ginagawa ang gawain ng Panginoon, ang kanyang focus ay yung kanyang dapat gawin sa misyon. At magtiwala siya na ang Diyos ang bahala sa kanyang pangangailangan. But there is one instruction given by Jesus that is quite interesting. Jesus tells the twelve, Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. Kapag hindi kayo tinanggap sa isang lugar, kapag hindi kayo pinakinggan sa isang lugar, umalis kayo. Ipagpag nyo ang alikabok sa inyong mga paa bilang pagpapatotoo sa kanila. Now, what does that mean? What does that ritual of shaking off the dust in one's feet mean? Ano bang ibig sabihin ni Jesus yung magpagpag ka ng alikabok sa iyong paa sa mga lugar na hindi ka tinanggap at hindi ka pinakinggan? My dear brothers and sisters, by giving this instruction, Jesus is preparing His twelve apostles how to handle rejection, defeat, and failure. Jesus is telling His twelve disciples that there will be places that they will not be welcomed. There will be people who will not listen to them. They will not be always 100% successful in their missionary work. And so they have to be in touch with reality. Dapat tanggapin nila ang katotohanan na hindi dahil isinugo sila ni Jesus, lahat tatanggap sa kanila. Lahat magiging masaya sa pakikinig sa kanila. Jesus is telling them, expect rejection, expect failure, expect frustrations, expect defeat, expect that you will not be always be successful. And Jesus said, but that does not mean that you should stop, that you should quit if there will be places and people who will reject you then just shake off the dust and move on. Ipagpag nyo lang yung alikabok, iwanan nyo ang lugar na yon at magsimulang muli sa ibang lugar. Our first reading today tells us of the story of the prophet Amos. He was being asked to leave Bethel by the priest Amaziah, pinapalaya siya. Sabi sa kanya ni Amaziah, huwag kang magpahayag dito. Ayaw namin na nandito ka. At mas lalong ayaw namin ng mga pinagsasasabi mo sa amin. Kaya lumayas ka, umalis ka. At anong sabi ni Prophet Amos? Hindi naman talaga ako propeta. Hindi ako katulad ng iba na binabayaran para magpahayag ng salita ng Diyos. Tinawag lamang ako ng Diyos para sa gawain ito. And because God called me to, to do this mission, then I will do it because God asked me to. Hindi siya kaagad pinanghinaan ng loob dahil hindi siya tinanggap. Hindi siya kaagad sumuko dahil siya ay hindi pinakinggan. 
Alam ni Propeta Amos na ang kanyang ginagawa ay gawain ng Panginoon. Kaya kahit anong hadlang, magpapatuloy siya sa paggawa ng misyon ng Panginoon sa kanya. My dear brothers and sisters, This is one important truth that we all have to accept in life. A truth that we cannot escape. We are not always successful and we will not be always be successful. Hindi tayo palaging magtatagumpay. May pagkakataon na matatalo tayo may mga pagkakataon na babagsak tayo. May mga pagkakataon na mafufrustrate tayo. At dapat nating tanggapin ito. No life is purely success. Rejections, frustrations, failures, defeat, all of these are part of life. And it is important that we accept this truth. Otherwise, we will simply give up on life. Kailangang matanggap natin ang katotohanan ito para matuto tayong magpatuloy sa buhay. Let us see to it that we always give our best and if after giving and doing our best, we are not appreciated We are not acknowledged. We are rejected. Then, simply shake off the dust from your feet and move on. Dahil bahagi yan ng buhay, hindi natatapos ang buhay dahil lamang sa pagkatalo. Magpatuloy, magsimulang muli. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus invites us to regularly shake off the dust from our feet. Palaging ipagpag ang mga alikabok ng pagkatalo, ng pagbagsak, ng rejection mula sa ating mga paa. Because when we do not regularly shake them off our feet, when we do not regularly shake off the dust of past failures, past despairs and rejections from our feet, then the dust will cling to us. The dust will accumulate and the dust will weigh us down. And what will be the result? Depression and despair. We will simply quit. We will surrender Susuko na lamang tayo sa buhay dahil sa mga pagkatalo. But God does not want us to be quitters. That is why in God's mercy, He gave us Jesus. And according to St. Paul in our second reading today, in Christ, we have been given every spiritual blessing. Binigay sa atin si Jesus upang kay Jesus tanggapin natin ang lahat ng biyayang kinakailangan natin. Do you still remember the second reading last Sunday when St. Paul acknowledged that he has the thorn in the flesh and yet St. Paul said, the grace of God is always enough. Kay Jesus Sapat ang biyaya ng Diyos na harapin natin ang mga pagsubok, pagkatalo at pagbagsak sa buhay. Kay Jesus, palagi tayong may lakas na bumangon muli at magpatuloy at magsimulang muli. In Jesus, who is God's blessing to us, we can always shake off the dust from our feet move to another village, and begin again. My dear brothers and sisters, do you know 
how to handle defeat? Do you know how to handle failures in life? Or do we easily give up because of one failure, one rejection, one defeat? Do we teach do we teach young people, our children, how to handle defeat and failures in life? Baka kasi ang itinuturo natin sa ating mga anak, sa ating mga kabataan, dapat palagi kang panalo. Dapat palagi kang number one. At dahil yan ang natatanim sa kanilang isip, konting pagkatalo, wala na. Sumusuko na. Siguro dapat paminsan-minsan, hayaan nating makaranas ng pagkatalo, ng rejection, ng failure ang ating mga kabataan para matuto sila ano ang gagawin kapag dumating ito sa kanilang buhay. Na pag dumating ang pagkatalo, magpatuloy, magsimulang muli. Hindi susuko agad. We will always face defeat and failure in life. But what is important is that we know how to handle them and we know how to shake them off our feet and move on. For what is important really is not success. What is important is fidelity. Hindi naman mahalaga sa Diyos kung magtagumpay tayo. Ang mahalaga sa Diyos, naging tapat tayo sa mga ipinagagawa niya sa atin. Hanggat nagiging tapat tayo sa Diyos, yun ang mahalaga. Hindi tagumpay. Remember what Mother Teresa would always say, We are called not to be successful, but to be faithful. Tinatawag tayo hindi para sa tagumpay, kundi sa katapatan. For in the end, fidelity, even in the midst of defeat and failure, is real success. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. We are included in God's eternal plan. Each of us has been chosen in Christ for some hidden purpose. Our prayerful petitions come before the God who knows and cares for each of us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church will continue to call and send many missionaries to preach the salvation of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the people who are depressed or lacking self-respect may learn of God's plan for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
that mercy may be shown to those who reject God's messengers and the truth they bring. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the seriously sick members of our community may welcome the sacrament of holy anointing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may join Christ in the final glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have adopted us as your children. Help us to appreciate your many blessings as we offer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look upon the offerings of your Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by His birth, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering cancelled out our sins. By His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. 
Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Benedict, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa ngayong umagang ito sa mga kapatid po nating nakatayo sa likod at nagsisimba sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtsatsaga. We also wish to thank those who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Thank you for always supporting the mission of the Manila Cathedral. Salamat din po sa iba't ibang mga social media pages na nagbabahagi, nagsheshare ng ating misa ngayon para mas maraming mga kapatid natin ang makabahagi sa pagdiriwang ng banal na misa ngayong linggong ito. And we also wish to thank the Manila Cathedral servants and staff who are assisting at our Mass this morning. And may God bless this new week 
May God always give us the courage, the strength to always move on in spite of the defeat and failures that we face. As Jesus sent his disciples, we are also sent. But let us always have the courage and hope in Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. <clears throat> May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you, and in His kindness pour out upon you the gifts of His blessings now and forever. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness now and forever. Amen. And so may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.